Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. It seems as if every spiritual gift, every little spiritual awakening that, that we have also comes with it, th this potential trap of getting ego involved, right. thinking this has something to do with my ego mm -hmm. and therefore I'm, I'm pretty special. Right, I'm enlightened, <laughs> uh -huh. you know. I've had an experience of God, so I'm enlightened now and you listen to me because I know. Yeah. What a trap. Yeah. All, all the way through spiritual growth, there are traps. The trap of being psychic. Mm -hmm. Which is, of course, in, in my field of parapsychology, mm -hmm. a, a big one. I know many gifted psychics mm -hmm. who, of course, they're, they're human like everyone else. Right. They, they have right. their struggles, right. and, and yet people often look up at them as somehow being better than human just yeah. because they can express a psychic gift. And you know, for a while there, I mm -hmm. was up on that. Yeah. I, I call it the pedestal. Mm -hmm. I was up on the pedestal. I was a near-death experiencer. I was in Ken Ring's book, you know, mm -hmm. all of that. But it's very lonely up there. There's nobody to have eye contact with. Yeah. Who wants to live on a pedestal? It's so much easier to come back down here and be with everybody else. And we're all special. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I realized that becoming psychic is a trap that we all go through but in the Eastern philosophies, it's something you move through. Mm -hmm. If you stay with it, your spiritual growth doesn't continue. And my belief, because yeah, I've done psychic stuff, but my belief is we all are. Mm -hmm. It's where we learn to place our focus. Mm -hmm. So I can be psychic one minute, but then I don't have to stay being psychic. I can just be human again. Mm -hmm. Being willing to learn. Yes willing to learn mm -hmm. up until the last minute I'm here and then when I move through to the next reality I still want to learn to me life is just one big school mm -hmm. and we're all here to learn and some of us are at a lower grade and some of us are at a higher grade and we're just helping each other move up those grades mm -hmm. As I recall, one of the principles you work with is that the people who bug you the most, who get <laughs> yeah. under your skin and bother you the most, are really your teachers. They're our spiritual teachers. <laughs> <laughs> it's odd because it, 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 at the moment you're feeling bugged by them. Mm -hmm. It must seem as if they're just the opposite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But if if when I, there are a few people that still really bug me, mm -hmm. I have to look at what is it about them that I don't like, mm -hmm. and guess what? It's what I still haven't resolved within me. Yeah. So they're just being a mirror to what I've rejected in myself. Mm -hmm.